Welcome to Mars. Mars is, like the Earth, a planet. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. Earth is the third planet. Being further from the Sun, Mars is extremely cold. It's kind of like Antarctica or the Canadian Arctic. Unlike Venus, which is very, very hot and is too hot to go to, humans actually could go to Mars. It's a really long trip. It's about six months to get to Mars. Have you guys ever been on a trip that's six months long? Do you like long car rides? It's kind of like that. But you could eat all kinds of space food, which is really yummy. And then when you got to Mars, you can actually use the water on Mars and the air on Mars. The air on Mars is carbon dioxide, which is exactly what you breathe out whenever you breathe. And it's also what plants breathe in. The carbon dioxide can actually be made into methane and oxygen, which is rocket fuel. And you also breathe oxygen, so you can actually get oxygen from the air, unlike on the moon where there's no air. A day on Mars is just a little bit longer than a day on Earth. It's about 24 hours and 40 minutes long. So if you lived on Mars, it wouldn't be very different from living on Earth in terms of day length and sunlight and plants that were on Mars in a greenhouse could use the sun just like they do on Earth. This is different from the moon, which has a day length of 14 days. So a day on the moon is really, really long, which also means that a night on the moon is really, really, really long. A year on Mars is about two Earth years long, so it's a pretty long year, but Mars has seasons. It has summers and winters, just like on Earth but it's pretty cold. In the summer, the, about the hottest it gets is about 20 degrees, so it's still pretty cool. And the coldest it gets is minus 150. So it's a really cold place sometimes. But the air is really thin, so it wouldn't feel as cold as it would at the same temperature on Earth. Mars is a pretty cool place. It's a planet with as much land area as the entire Earth. And it has the tallest mountain in the solar system, which is three times as tall as Mount Everest. It's called Mount Olympus or Olympus Mons. And the reason why Mars has such a tall mountain is because Mars has less gravity. Because mountains are created by continental shelves pushing up or volcanoes pushing rock up into the sky. And they're flattened down by gravity. So because Mars has less gravity, it can have larger mountains. It also has really deep valleys. It has a valley three times as deep as the Grand Canyon, which is called Valles Marineris. The reduced gravity on Mars, which is less than half of the gravity on Earth, means that you could jump really high in the air. You could jump almost three times as high, meaning that if you wanted to play basketball, you should definitely think about joining the Mars team. And your dog would be able to jump right over your head. You could have plants on Mars in a greenhouse. You couldn't have them out in the open because the air is not thick enough to keep plants alive. You could also have some animals on Mars, but you wouldn't want to bring very big animals. You would probably want to bring only really small animals like insects, which are yummy to eat. We have been to Mars many times with robots. So far we've sent a lot of robots. Right now we have two robots on the surface of Mars, Curiosity and Opportunity. These are rovers, which means they are little wheeled vehicles like little cars that travel across the surface of Mars looking at rocks and looking at what's on Mars and searching for water and searching for past life because it's possible that life could exist on Mars. Even today, life could exist underground. And Mars was once a much wetter and warmer place and Mars was a lot more like the Earth. And maybe Mars had oceans and had life at that time. And there may still be life today. If we look at different areas of Earth, if we drill underground in Antarctica, for example, we find life everywhere we look, at the bottom of ocean floors, even in volcanic vents. So life we find everywhere. And if we found life on Mars, it would mean that there's probably life everywhere in the universe.